we'll guide you through how to lower the ping on your Xbox. If you guys find this useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get into this. For example, you might be playing some multiplayer game that requires you have a good internet connection and good ping to be able to compete against other players in that game. For example, you might be playing an FPS game such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare or a game such as Rocket League. For example, we very good, where you need to have a very good connection. So, to get a very good connection and with a very good ping, you will need to follow the methods that I will be talking about in this video. The first one being pausing any downloads that are currently going on inside of your console. To pause, pause any downloads, you're going to My Games and Apps find the game that is currently updating or downloading press this button right here and then you have the pause updating or cancel updating and uninstall let's pause updating and that should be a really good way to fix your high ping issues this was only the first method now let's move on to the second the second method is for you to pause or stop any downloads or heavy internet tasks that are going on inside of your house on other devices. For example, you might have a TV in your living room that's streaming a really lengthy uh, movie in high quality in HD or 4K resolution, and that might be putting a drain on your internet connection. Now, let's move on to the third method. The third method involves using an ethernet cable. It allows the internet to travel to your console in a much better way and much quicker. You have an ethernet port on the back of your Xbox right here, and as you can see, it's on the bottom. That is the ethernet port. Now for the fourth method, we will be talking about the restarting of your router. You might wonder why I'm recommending this. Well, this is a really good way to fix your high ping because your router usually stores a lot of cache inside of it. And that cache puts, puts a drain on its ability to operate at full capacity. To clear your cache, you will need to unplug your router from the power outlet and then reconnect it. After you're done, you should probably experience a much better internet performance. And now for the last option, I will recommend you contact your internet provider if none of these fixes really helped you. This way you can check if everything is okay with the internet itself and not a problem on your part. It might be an issue from your internet provider. So basically that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.